Boy Wants the Wind project, we did we made a windmill. Uh, by using what we knew about forces, motion, energy, and energy conversions, we made a windmill. This windmill was designed to pull a spoon carrying an object. Uh, the energy is converted in our design process and how it works. We will also explain how these things are involved in the windmill. Force, mass, Newton's laws, velocity, acceleration, potential, and kinetic energy transfers and power. The conversions of energy go from potential to kin er, from potential in the hairdryer to kinetic energy in the wind. Then it spins the windmill, which pulls the spoon to the so the spoon has kinetic energy. Design process. Our first design was actually a windmill that folds back a catapult, and we realized that wouldn't work because it wouldn't be strong enough. So we changed it to make it pull the spoon, and there would be a spool on the shaft for the windmill, but then it didn't work because the string kept getting caught. And so we changed it again, got rid of the spool, and so now it pulls it just fine. Uh, the windmill works by the wind blowing the blades and making the, them spin, which turns the shaft and pulls the spoon. continued. This uses Newton's first law because um, the, they, the blades need a force to be applied on them and then when the blades spin, it spins the shaft and then the string wraps around it and it ends up pulling the spoon. In conclusion, we showed how forces, mass, Newton's laws, velocity, acceleration, potential, and kinetic energy transfers. <coughs> and power power was incorporated into our windmill. By using what we knew about forces, motion, energy, and energy conversions, we made